All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I could hit you and Oak T and some other friends up more. Sometimes it works out, but I also have friends I've still never gotten that, that that's a factor too. This platform feels way too big for me sometimes. It's definitely help if I stream more days. No, Core, absolutely not, Core. The only reason that you're like overwhelmed with the entire thing is because like you're so functional. Like, like <laughs> I always feel bad when you're like, I feel bad when you're actively feeling bad about this because it's one of those things where you recognize that somebody feels like a, an obligation that's outsized because they have just like succeeded at like doing the thing that they're doing to the level that they actually have an investment in so many more people that they're actually like yeah and there's like so it was supposed to be rainbow and so like the red there's some red in the back um and i i like keep vaguely cutting it because i that's what i do i just like take scissors and cut it a little bit when i'm like oh that's a stray hair or whatever but yes i was i was uh i was cutting my buddies not cutting I was dyeing my buddy's beard rainbow for for pride. And this is my non my I'm no longer the baby gay this this pride. But yeah, so basically like I feel like when I remember like when I don't know. I remember when I started to get the hang of like my life and being um like oh my god, I'm so excited because I have more people that I like like and care about and know who want to spend time with me than I can do that with right now. And that was like an accomplishment for me to get to the point of being able to get my shit together enough to have that level of investment that there were more people that I wanted to give attention and time to um, who also wanted that from me than I could physically do. And for me, that was, like, just a positive thing. Because, like, nobody actually feels like you have an obligation to them when you're like that because they know what they're getting into when you're getting invested in each other. Um, like, I, like, I don't know about you, but a factor in how, you know, I get invested in somebody is that they sort of, like, get me enough and are not, you know, don't have, like, weird shitty entitlements to me, my time, energy, whatever. Like, that's, like part of how we get invested in each other in the first place, like getting each other to that level. So there's no, so, you know, there's none of that. And like, it's, I don't know. I just like, I think about like all the people that you're like, that you're responding to. And I'm just like, man, you have so much room in your heart and mind for humans. And you have like sophisticated, like models of pe like so many people that you have, you know, varying degrees of, of investment in. And no matter how much of that investment and no matter how complex that model of that human is, I know it means something to them. Because, I mean, you are my, like, my whole senpai notice me thing. I can never even begin to imagine how much, like, I, like, you know, just like you, like, stopping by and, like, hanging out and chatting for a bit right now is, like, an enormous thick deal for me. And not because, like, oh, you're such a successful streamer. It's just because, like, your investment is inherently meaningful to me. And, like, I know how many people you have that for and that, like, you're making a choice to, you know, take some of the amount of, the small amount of time and energy and uh, attention that you have and, like, use some of it to interact with me. So, like, and the funny thing is, like, in a much smaller way, but in a very meaningful way in, like, a life where I'm, like, I've moved rapidly from being, like, a, like, a home buddy who, like, did not have enough, like, executive function to, like, even barely have, like, friends, like, to becoming somebody who's, like, like, the cool, sexy, popular person who's doing lots of fun, crazy plans all the time, and just, like, go, go, like, I have transformed, and, like, all of a sudden, yeah, like, lots and lots of people just, like, want to know me and spend time with me and, and hang out with me and stuff, and, I, like, feels like the tiniest little corner of what it must be like to be you. And you on like a 10 year fucking like timeline of this kind of thing. And when I see you experiencing like, I mean, obviously part of your, you know, charisma is that, you know, people, people respond to, you know, the genuineness of your, yeah, like you do care. And I think that it feels like you probably have like an outdated model of like, yeah, if you had like, six friends and you hadn't talked to one of them in a year 
you, it feels sometimes like you are like taking that emotional model and without examining it, like continuing to let it linger on your heart and give you like bits of additional like anxiety, like not, not, not like enough anxiety to examine directly, but just enough to give you like, like bits of weight that I always like want to relieve you of. I want you to not have it. I want you to be like as free and happy as you can be, especially when, you know, the weights that you're holding, they are not like they're only from you and your own like perspective because nobody is mad at you. <laughs> like nobody is like, oh no. Um, honestly, one of my biggest fears is someone being too str- Okay, I, I'm, I'm skipping. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually read all of them because I don't want to miss anything in the thing. Um, hit me an oak tea, sometimes it works out, friends have never, blah, 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 and that's sort of what I was talking to, stream more days. You don't have to stream more days, you don't know anybody, yeah, no, all right, it's fine. Um, Ingrid insightful, unflattering, oh, yay, I'm glad. I definitely feel a little too stretched soon sometimes, right? Try not to take it for granted. Hopefully it continue, helps me develop my boundaries more, yes. Um, uh, honestly, one of my biggest fears is someone being like, oh, this person doesn't actually care about anyone because they're too busy Oh, thanks for the sub, Sorin. Subscribe, Laffy Saffy, smiling face with hearts. Smiling Laffy face with Saffy. Heart. Smiling face with hearts. You know that Laffy Saffy is named after that. Co <laughs> anyway, Laffy Saffy is totally like what it's called now because of you. Laffy Saffy and Sappy Saffy and anyway. <laughs> um, uh, uh, biggest fear is someone being like, "Oh, this person doesn't actually care about anyone because they're too busy or whatever." And it's true, I can't always be there for everything, but I always try to be upfront about my capability and try when I can. Oh my god, yay! I'm so happy with all my new emotes and stuff. Um, yeah, no, Core, I like really get it, and I, I mean, from a very different, from a very different place because of having undiagnosed ADHD for such a long time. And it was like, you know, executive dysfunction and feeling like, you know, and, and also, like, people don't talk about it much, but ADHD also causes you to be, uh, be like, have a very sort of, um, well, I mean, technically the thing that's happening is uh, you have um, lower um, ability to regulate your emotions sometimes, or you have an inconsistent ability to regulate your emotions, and you have an inconsistent ability to mask your emotions, and sometimes it just means that you have, hello, thanks for the follow, Mikey. Um... The, uh, like, sometimes it causes you to just, like, have sort of, like, a, like, an open, vulnerable heart. And you'll, like, bond with someone, and you'll, and, and you'll, like, care so much about them, and you'll miss them. And then you'll find yourself just, like, failing to keep your head above water, and then being sure that they hate you because, because, like, you were so, because, like, if you really cared, you'd be there, and you'd, you'd seek them out, and you'd spend time with them. And, you know, growing out of that has been or learning, learning to grow out of that outlook has been very um, important to my growth. Um, I'm also, I think, more than most people, um, I curate the people who I let in very hard. Um, there are types of people who need a certain type of friendship that, like, if I know that I can't give it, I just don't, you know, I don't engage, you know, with somebody who I'm going to disappoint. But, like I said, it just isn't, hey, cat, how's it going? Hmm. I feel like this is a complete, like, a complete non sequitur from anything I was. Should I try on this, um, Spidey? I'm gonna try on this. Oh gosh, I get that. When I was younger, I used to be fully wrapped up obsessed with people. And if they didn't deliver that in the same way that I needed back, it was really hard for me. Right, like, and this is a big thing about, like, being neurodivergent not finding out until way later that, like, oh shit, the way that my brain works is not the way that everyone else's brain works. And this has colored absolutely every experience of my life. And the thing is, when you're younger, you have no reason to know that. And, um, like, one of the biggest things that I have to explain to people um, uh, that, like, is emotional. Um, I'm great. I'm fun employed officially. I have a couple of weeks before my new job starts. Um, I'm making the Spider-Man thing. Just sort of experimenting to see if I can, like lovingly hand create a thing that can actually like look cool with kits incredible doctor strange um 
And this is just, like, a weird thing that I've made out of, like, clothes and, like, this weird onesie and whatever. Um, nowadays, I'm a huge proponent of, like, people coming to relationships as they are and doing what they are willing to do in them and not worrying about the rest, not doing anything they don't want to and avoiding pressuring someone to be someone they aren't. Oh, absolutely! No, I mean, um... It's been really fascinating navigating, uh, building a building like a like a healthy, a healthy, stable, like committed long term relationship with Kit has been really interesting because um, you know we have an, a big age gap and um, and we're from very different places. Uh, like you know he's from like the Midwest, he's from like Iowa. I mean also Geneva because he's like a made <laughs> a made up person basically. Because um, you can't be like corn-fed Iowa Captain America dude, and also... Thank you! The Triforce of Kittens! I hope you can see all three Enders a little bit hidden in the back. They're brothers and they're delightful. Never be the same. What was I just talking about? I was talking about how... Oh yeah, the Captain America thing. And yet also mysteriously speak French and be from Geneva. Jesus. Anyway. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna try on this Spider-Man. It's very un 